interesting from Fabian. Fabian, uh, what do you think Thrawn's attitude towards the Sith Order? Oh, what, what do you think th- is okay. Thrawn's attitude towards the Sith Order? Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think that he was impressed by Vader, but there is a point at that the end of the second book where he's like, I've already thought of four ways I could take you out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, how sure. how scared is he? I mean, obviously he swore fealty to Palpatine. I think sure. he's impressed by Palpatine because, I mean, Palpatine has like Sith magic in mm-hmm. in place of what Thrawn has to do, right? Yeah. So I don't know if that necessarily would impress him or not, but I think that at the very least, he would have been impressed that the Sith did everything they did with two people. Right? Sure. Yeah. Like the plan, it's a good plan. It works really well. And Palpatine becomes, you know, the number one guy in the galaxy for 20 years. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad. (laughs) You know, so I think that he'd be impressed by the Sith. But I don't think that he necessarily bothers to understand exactly what it takes to what the Force is, you know? Sure. I would be curious to see, um, and we don't really get it in any of this, but minus the force powers of things, I'd love to see the intellect of Palpatine versus the intellect of Thrawn. You know what I mean? Like, just like they're playing some kind of games against each other, and it's not about the force or anything. It's just about, like, you know, we've always talked about how much has Palpatine planned versus how much does he just kind of, like, wing and correct whenever things happen, right? Like, did he plan for this to happen? And then he just had this already set up and ready or was it like a he he modified what his plan was going to be sure, you know right. like there's i'm trying to think of a specific situation but there's been several of those kind of I mean, situations Palpatine, that have occurred it's just like the jedi he can see the future but he knows the future is always changing sure so he can plan and then he has the advantage like like thrawn needs to find how things can be figured out palpatine can sense how things are figured out sure yeah so he has the advantage but he also has the incredible power, and he's incredibly ruthless. And that's yeah. generally how Thrawn can get around people. Like they're not as ruthless as he can be. Not so with Palpatine. Sure. So, yeah, that would be an interesting uh, duel of wills, I think. Yeah. Well, because like with with Vader, like you kind of see them going like head to head in different aspects, right? Yeah. Where like Vader's like, "Why are we waiting on doing this? <laughs> this is seven times you failed." Yeah. And then eventually, like, "Okay, I got this now. Here it is, sure. and I've solved it." And Vader's like, oh, "I wouldn't have solved that." Yeah. He would have maybe brute forced something or made it through something other ways, but it just having having them together more would have been an interesting thing of how they pair off or sure. you know. I, I'm always wondering like does Palpatine did he already know about this conspiracy? Is that why he made sure Thrawn came? Did he expect this to occur? Yeah. And if so, why didn't he stop it a long time ago? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> you know? So just I, things like that. I think really it just it it'll eventually come down to ego and It'll come down to, like, Palpatine, what is he willing to sacrifice? He'll sacrifice anybody, just sure. not himself. Yeah. Ron, I feel like, will it, sooner sacrifice himself over, like, certain people sometimes. Sure. You know? He'll, like, his crew, like, he protects his crew. He wants them to be safe and, and get better. Like, I, I feel like Palpatine doesn't have that weakness. Yeah, you know? I suppose so. But, like, he's losing so much money in this process, you know? So that's yeah. why I'm kind of like, did he know? Is that why he sent Thrawn? Because he knew there was a conspiracy happening? Yeah. And if he did know, why did he let it go on for years and let it bleed <laughs> all this money, you know? Like, yeah. I just wonder, like... Or it's just not very important to him. Yeah, or he just didn't <laughs> care. He was too busy with Starkiller. And, you know, it was the same thing they said about Krennic, right? The yeah. only person who would have figured this out was Krennic. But he was too busy you know, running everything. <laughs> you do get the feeling that Palpatine, like, gives certain people power and then just, like... Like, he'll give Tarkin power, and then Tarkin suddenly has all these enemies, and Palpatine likes to watch. Like, I get that feeling. Yeah, I get what you mean. You know? Yeah. Hmm. Like, let the, the rabble, like, fight for the scraps that I give them. It's kind yeah. of what it feels like. Like, could he, did he know, like, the issues of the Death Star, that Luke Skywalker would have blown it up? Like, did he have any of these kind of premonitions of this kind of stuff? If he and did, if so, it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't if, surprise you if he it, came out and was like, actually, I saw all of it. Well, and if he did, why didn't he stop it? Or is it like you said, yeah. like, he just wants to watch his little, you know, the little things sure. he's caused happen. He's not that concerned with I mean, with he's, he saw everything but the return of Anakin Skywalker. In his mind, that wasn't possible. Yeah. So that's really the only thing. And mm. why it had to be Luke and it had to be Anakin, right? Sure. Yeah. Anyway, thank you, Fabian. Good question. 